Listen to part of a university lecture by a drama professor. In our overview of world theatrical traditions, I'd like to try to give you now a general idea of the nature of the No Theater of Japan. No is a difficult art to categorize, really. It could be described, I guess, as a sort of stylized, symbolic drama which is rooted in, based on, song and dance, and which was formalized some 600 years ago. Even the Japanese admit that only a few of them can now understand the language used in no dialogues, or rather monologues, since most no plays have only one main character, along with a very secondary character and a chorus. The main actor wears one of the very distinctive character masks that some of you may have seen illustrated. The pleasure of watching a no play is in enjoying the quiet, elegant visual and auditory beauty of the performance, a concept encapsulated in the Japanese term yugen, which means something like profound, elusive beauty. No sounds very zen, doesn't it? The dramas are played on a single square platform with a single painted pine tree on the background, a holdover from when the plays were presented outdoors. The audience sits at the front and on one side of the stage, and on the other side is a covered ramp, also part of the acting area that leads off stage. This ramp symbolizes the tradition between the real world and the spiritual world. One interesting feature of most no stages is the large earthenware jars that are placed under them. These large jars are set at an angle with their mouths upward. Because the sounds on the stage resonate in the jars below, they increase the acoustic effects of the performance. The history of no is well documented. Sangaku, a whole troupe of entertainment arts, acrobatics, magic, song and dance, juggling, etc., arrived from China in the 8th century. They were often performed at shrines and festivals and became very popular with the common people. At the same time, a more solemn Japanese native art called Dangaku was being performed at the great Buddhist temples. Dangaku had developed from harvest rituals and ceremonies and was performed by incantation masters. It was supported by the nobility and it also enjoyed great popularity. These two independent, very different kinds of performances were brought together in the 14th century during Japan's Muromachi period by a father and son, Kenomi and Ziomi, two great theatrical geniuses. They were directors, actors, playwrights, and theoreticians, and from elements of Sangaku and Dangaku, they created Nogaku, a refined, elegant new theatrical art in much the same form as we see it today. This was the great period of creativity and imaginative growth in No. Incredibly, some of Ziomi's notebooks still remain in existence. It's like having Chaucer's or Shakespeare's personal notes still available to us. One of Ziomi's early performances caught the eye of the shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, and the shogun gave them his enthusiastic support. This patronage continued through the next two shoguns and into the Moamoyama period, and the shogunettes of the great Oda Nobunaga, Toyotami Hideyoshi, and Toguaga Aisu. These powerful men were such no enthusiasts that they pretty much took over its administration. They consolidated the acting troops, standardized the operations, and established a set of programs of five plays to be performed in a single day. There are now a repertory of about 200 no plays, and there are two basic kinds, Jinzawi no, Realistic no, and Mugen no, Fantasy no. In Realistic no, the main character is a real person, and the acting occurs in real time. The usual theme is the depicting of the main character's inner feelings in a dramatic situation. In Mugen no, on the other hand, in Fantasy no, the main character is supernatural, a demon, a god, a ghost, or something like that. 
The themes come mostly from classical literature. The most popular Mugen is Lady Aoi. Her story comes from the 11th century novel, The Tale of the Genji. In it, the ghost of Lady Rokojo, the rejected lover of Prince Genji, possesses his wife, Lady Aoi. A Buddhist exorcist drives the ghost out in the shape of a horned demon, and they fight a battle for power. It is a typical no, a highly stylized integration of dance, song, poetry, and percussion. The percussion is provided by the four-piece orchestra of flute and drums. The spoken words are elongated in a complex structured chant. A single instant can go on for several minutes, or a lengthy stretch of time can be over in an instant. The main character can expend so much energy in his subtle portrayal of intense emotion that his heart rate can reach 180 beats a minute even while he's standing still. No is difficult to perform and difficult to understand, but it's well worth your effort to try to appreciate this unique dramatic art if you ever get a chance.